Afternoon, El Paso City Council votes a second time to extend City Manager Tommy Gonzalez's contract. You may recall discussion regarding Gonzalez's contract surfaced when Gonzalez announced he was a finalist for City Manager in Frisco, Texas. At that point, according to Gonzalez's contract, he could have walked away with a million dollars in severance pay. Mayor Oscar Leeser threatened and actually did veto that contract, which is why discussion about that veto was on the agenda and supposed to happen today. ABC 7 Solar Science was at that meeting and tells us all that discussion changed. So, so well, this is a kind of a very back and forth afternoon. Clear it all up for us. Absolutely, Stephanie, Eric, you all three of us have been following everything that's happening here in City Hall. As soon as the city leaders found out that uh, Gonzalez, Tommy Gonzalez, was up for a same city manager job in Frisco, Texas, well, some city leaders decided to sweeten the deal. It turns out, well, they have. They amended his contract to say he could earn up to from $404,000 to only $450,000. Remember, they put a cap on it. He could earn up to that. Well, essentially putting a cap on his merit pay raise and extend his contract to 2029. Gonzalez then removed his name from consideration for that Frisco job, but then Mayor Oscar Leisure said, I don't like it, I don't like that contract, I'm vetoing it. That veto was going to be discussed today, but city leaders eliminated that item from the agenda and said they will instead amend amend Gonzalez's current contract, which is originally supposed to end in 2024. Now it's going to end in 2029, and they eliminated the cap of $450,000 and kept merit paid raises intact. That means that now, based on this current contract, he could earn more than $450,000 if he earns enough merit pay raises. Essentially, what that means is if this council or any future council believe Gonzalez is doing a good job, he can again receive those merit pay raises. As for that severance pay that promised to pay Gonzalez close to a million dollars if he decides to leave, six months vacation, six months pay leave, well, that stays in place. Only two city representatives voted against the contract extension. That was Alexandra Nello and Joe Molinar. The rest voted to keep Tommy, give him a pay raise, and praise his work he has done here in El Paso. We heard from one person who was a member of the audience uh, essentially referring to that contract. I think it is important, Mayor, that you take a position like many other mayors in other cities, and this, that position helps also minimize any kind of discord, dysfunction, uh, misinterpretation, misinformation when it comes to issues, and all of that can be learned from today uh, using uh, Mr. Gonzalez as a piñata with a community and basically bashing him and putting him in the forefront when he's doing a good job. Ironically, today also during city, uh, city Council discussion was city charter amendments. One of those amendments is to take away the veto power from the mayor. That was not decided upon, but I did ask the mayor if he felt that this was retribution for all the action he took on this contract. He said no, that was in the, work that was in the works already, but fortunately mayor, uh, voters will get to uh, vote on that caster ballot and decide whether or not Mayor Leisure or any future mayor keeps the veto power. For now, we're live inside City Hall. Saul Signs, ABC7. All right, Saul, thank you. Thank you.